This video is for software version 2018-0809. Hi, this video will show you how to do a GX Bell feedback scan from hardware connection to software operation. We need the following things to do a Bell feedback scan. Generator X, power adapter, USB cable, TENS cable, and TENS pads. First, we plug the power adapter into generator X, and the other end goes into its power source. Then, we connect USB cable to GX and the computer. Insert the square end into the side of generator X and the USB end into the computer. You can connect TENS cable to the OUT1 port of G1 or G2. Here we connect it to the OUT1 port of G2. Next, we plug the TENS pads into the TENS cable. There are three ways to place TENS pads for doing GX Bell feedback scan. For the problem area, it is better to have the electrodes as close as possible across the problem area, so more of the bad pathogen cells are passed by the signal. If it is the kidneys, you could place the pads either across one, front and back, or across both, side to side. For a general scan, place the pads on the left and right of the torso, midway between the hips and the shoulders. The signal will go through the gut, which is a major organ, reflecting the state of your body. Many pathogens reside there. For head and neck areas, do not place tense pads directly because your two most important organs reside there, the thyroid and your brain. Use the back of both shoulders. Now, we are ready to place the pads. Here, we will do a general scan. So I place the pads on the left and right of the torso. Place the pads firmly in place. After connection, I turn on the generator. and launch Spooky2 software. I choose Bell Feedback, Generator X, GX General Bell Feedback Scan, CGW. Then go to Control tab, tick Allow Generator Overrides. As I connected TENS pads to G2, so I choose Port 4 to load the preset. Then click Scan button to start the scan. The scan frequency range covers all frequencies ever discovered by Royal Rife, including the very high frequencies previously beyond reach of lesser machines. It detects the frequency of all the microorganisms your body is unlucky enough to have. The duration is about 12 minutes, as Generator X is detecting electrical signals. During a bell feedback scan, Generator X records how the electrical signal behaves 
A brief change in the electrical pattern shows that a heat was detected. There are two different ways that generator X measures the change. One, current flow. This is like water running in a river. Normally, this is constant, but if the level of the water rises, the flow increases. Generator X measures this flow rate. Two, say zango. If you are walking with your child, normally they are at your side, but if you start walking over rough terrain, the child will fall behind. Face angle is like the distance between yourself and your child. The terrain is everything between the tense pads. Generator X measures when the terrain is rough or smooth. Let's wait the scan to finish. There is no need to lie down while you are doing a GX bell feedback scan. You can do other camera things, reading, watching TV, or even listening to music. Okay, we can see there are 10 heats showing up. We can click Save button to save the scan results. We can save the scan results by using three different detecting ways. Current, angle, and current plus angle. Here we save the scan results analyzed by current. We can also analyze the scan results by choosing other detecting ways. Here I click Analyze plus button. Choose the scan we just did and open it. We can see there are different heats showing up. Click Save button. Here we save the scan results analyzed by current plus angle to a program labeled BFV with the date and time. Now we can choose a killing preset to run the scan results. Firstly, unplug the tense cable. Then, connect Spooky2 Boost to G2. Connect tense cable to the high power port. Go to Spooky2 software. We choose Keyling JW. Then go to Programs tab. Search BFB to find the results. Double click to choose it. Go to Control tab. Take Allow Generator Overrides. Choose port 4 to load the program. Click Start button to start the treatment. After contact treatment is finished, we can continue the treatment in remote mode. Unplug the tense cable from the generator X and change the contact mode to remote mode. Connect Spooky2 Boost to G1 and G2. Then connect Spooky2 Remotes to the BN port of both Spooky2 Boosts. Do not forget to put your DNA into these remotes. After connection, we go to Preset tab, choose Killing JW. Then go to Programs tab, double click the scan results to choose it. Go to Control tab, take 
Allow generator overrides. Choose port 4 to load the programs. Click Start button to start the treatment. As we are running the killing programs, we need to detox at the same time. Go to Presets tab. Click Detox. Remote. Terrain Maintenance. Go to Control tab. Tick Allow Generator Overrides and choose Port 5. After the preset is uploaded, we click the Start button to start detox. Thanks for watching this video.